Chinese President Xi Jinping has been on a diplomatic tour to several African countries, among them Mauritius. The island nation hopes the Chinese leader's visit will lead to further cooperation and exchange in the ocean economy. Speaking to CGTN Associate Professor of Marine Science at the University of Mauritius, Dr. Ranjit Baguli says the development of the ocean economy is the strategic goal of Mauritius. And Mauritius being a small island state, uh, a tiny island in the Indian, in the Indian Ocean, uh, it's very much connected to, to the sea. Whatever we do on the island is connected to the sea. So coastal activities, inland activities for Mauritius, they're all connected to the sea. Mauritius and China share economic values and interests. The island nation is located along China's Belt and Road Initiative and already the changes are evident. The most significant uh, change that I could see is the uh, airport. And the airport, I think it has been a blessing for us. The new airport is not only big to accommodate more tourists, but also good to allow more Mauritians to travel abroad. So it's not only the incoming, but also the outgoing. And facilitating more tourists to come to Mauritius has acted as a gateway for Mauritius to welcome more tourists and to build on the tourism industry that we have. And in addition, I would say, um, the business has also expanded. We have more business people coming in and more Mauritians going out for, for, for expanding the business. I think it has been a real blessing for us and I think that is one of the initiatives that has made a significant transformative change, I would say, for Mauritius through the Chinese collaboration, through the blessing of the President of China. The geographical advantage of Mauritius makes it a gateway to Africa. And this location connects perfectly Africa uh, to Asia, Africa to Australia. I've given a uh, mid location, I mean in between. And it is also a good place where most of the ships come and uh, refuel. And most of the ships come and stop by for other uh, resources. Uh, with, with respect to China, I think uh, the entry to to Africa, the, to use Mauritius as a platform, Mauritius is bilingual and China can use that advantage. The governance structure that we have and we are also connected to, to Africa and China. We have all these good relationship with China and we also have good relationship with African countries. So we can act as a bridge to connect China from Asia to, 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 to Africa. The ocean economy contributes more than 10% to the GDP of Mauritius. The government plans to increase that to 20% by 2025, and there are new exploration opportunities. Both China and Mauritius are maritime countries, and there are many opportunities for cooperation in the ocean economy. And China has so much developed in the ocean sector. China is not just a landlocked. It is a land-based country, but it has lots of coastline that has allowed development in China in terms of research, in terms of uh, industry, mm -hmm. and in terms of the societal perspective on the sea. And I think these are the good things that China could also um, translate to us and help us build that attitude, that perspective towards our ocean. Chom Hono, CGTN.